do you help with casting? Do you help with getting those A yes. B lists? Uh, see, that's the biggest thing because most people <laughs> don't know what needs to be done when when are creating films of do they get all a la carte or do they need to go to agencies and deal with that bullshit and God only knows whatever else. So what what makes it easier? What do you do now to just make it all a la carte, Steve, so people can just do a, a one stop shop with you? And, and right. well, again, I we have a right. Well, we have a you know, obviously, we work with the same C, uh, casting director all the time. Um, we work with the same, uh, you know, we work with uh, a lot of different agencies that, that she goes to, we're not familiar with us. So, we, we, we give the script, the genre, and the budget to said agencies. Um, and they give us who they think will mean the most foreign and domestic. Um, like two quote unquote anchor actors for, for that type of film. So just say you're giving me a, a half million dollar budget, um, psychological thriller and, you know, and, and the script, obviously the script has to be good, but say this, we'll just say the script is already good. We know it's good. So you're giving me a half million dollar budget to play with. Uh, you know, I, we go, we get the two anchor actors that we know are going to bring back the money and obviously you know there's MG, there's a whole bunch of things that you know that that are involved that i can do with product placement um all these different th- avenues that most people wouldn't be able to do and it's not that i'm smarter it's just i've been doing it long enough um and, and kind of hung in there and, and 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 started to learn as i went so yes so it would be basically you give me the script the budget and the genre i mean again you can't be you got to kind of be realistic with your, with your project. You can't be blowing stuff up and, you know, blowing up the Empire State Building and then ask, tell me you have a $125,000 budget. You know what I mean? It's got to kind of make, make sense. But, but yeah, I mean, usually you give me the, the, the script. We're always going to assume in this scenario the script is good and, and basically find out what the budget is and then who we can get for that said budget, which will help sell the film. Uh, to a studio, uh, and who means the most, both domestic and foreign. You're a father, and what would you have to say to parents that are looking to get their children in this industry? Is it something that you would encourage? Is there an age limit? What would you do as a father, and what would you recommend? It's a great question. Um, it's funny because we we just finished a, a, eight episodes of a show that we're working on, that, that we're working with Peacock, and my my daughter, my oldest is nine, and I have seven year old twins, a boy and a girl, and you know they're they're starting to realize what daddy does, um, and, and they're showing interest. I mean, it's not like you know they they want to start going to acting school yet, but they're getting a little bug up, you know, uh, to potentially dad, can I be in a film? What what have you, um. I don't. I wouldn't deter anybody from doing anything they want to try. Um, again, this is an unscrupulous business. Um, a lot of things have come to light over the years. Um, I think today, uh, especially being a father of, of, of daughters, uh, with that whole Harvey Weinstein stuff and and the whole pedophile stuff, uh, you know, with Corey Feldman. Um, I think there's more people more alert today than they were maybe back then. Um, I definitely you would be on, on top of them if, if they decided to move forward and they got cast in something and I would definitely just not, you know, assume everything's okay and let them go to set and, you know, you know, I'll pick you up in, in eight hours. I, I would definitely stay on top of it, but I wouldn't deter anyone from doing anything. Um, I, I would always say go for go. You know, I was brought up in not not in that mentality. My my you know, I was brought up. You know, that's that's not you can't achieve that. That's that's a dream. You're a cop. <laughs> what are you gonna do? That was you know that was what I was brought up on. I, you know, I I try to I w- want more on, on on letting them do what they want. So I wouldn't be opposed to it. I would just be as a parent and a parent out there. I, I would just stay on top of them. 